Hello. In this video today, we are going to expand a little bit on the testing of distance protection. Last time we showed one example using the click and test part of distance protection of distance application. Today we are going to use some additional functions like sequence and some other functions which allow us to test more in more detail our distance protection. So of course the first step is connecting. Of course you can see here that we're not connected right now but as soon as I press this you can see this changing to a different icon which means that we have connected. I'm opening my Rio file which is this one here which I have extracted from my relay and now I have my characteristic. So I see that nominal values are okay. I'm not going to use any uh, prefault current. What I'm going to do is to go to test selection. I'm going to say sequence and I'm going to click confirm. Now with this, the difference between sequence and click and test is that with sequence, as you can see, as I click, the DRTS is not generating any values before I tell him to do that by pressing this start button. So first I'm going to choose all the points which I want to test for my relay. So all the zones and all of course outside for phase one, also for phases one, two, one, two, three, four outside and zone three. And we're also going to do that same test for three phase fault. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 18 tests now for phase one, phase one, two, and all three phases together. In order to start the test, of course, we're going to press start. And we will see how this test is being done. So right now, the DRTS in sequence is generating currents and voltages, which, of course, make this type of impedance, as you can see here. Right now, we have fully tested phase one. Now we're testing phase to phase. We see that we have pass on all these elements. And of course, if we observe what's going on, here, of course, we see that two currents were changing. Now all three currents would be changing. I mean, all three voltages, to be more exact, because it's a three-phase fault. Now, having done that, I see I have a pass on all my tests. I will now do something to show you how you can repeat a test. So. Let's say that I'm going to repeat this test, but before that I'm going to remove the tripping signal from the DRTS, so we will intentionally have a bad result. Let's see. So we have a fail right now because I took out the contact. I'm going to put contact back in, and I'm going to repeat the test again by pressing here repeat selected tests and right now I expect a good result. So in this case I also wanted to show you how you can repeat a certain test. You can also just come to that point and click the button repeat and repeat that test in case you're not happy with some of the results. Of course right now we can print this out. You can say file, notes to the test, you can just say OK also, let's choose a logo. This time, let's choose another logo. Let's say we'll choose the logo of Terna, which is Italian transmission operator. And now we're going to print this. Of course, first we need to store them by pressing this. Yes file, print, we'll include the notes page, 
And I'm doing this to show you that right now the results should be discriminated. We should have three graphs, one of them showing us the trippings in uh, for phase one, the other one for phase-to-phase -phase folds L1, 2, and the third one showing us the folds for three-phase fold. And as our report is being built, we can see now we have Terna here. And as I go down with this button, I will go to the next page. And this is a shot test, L1, our results. Then we have another page for L1, 2, and also our results. And then the last page for L123, and also our results. The notes are OK. Signatures can be placed here. And now we're going to print this, for example, on desktop. But this time we'll do it in doc format. And as this is being printed out, of course, the benefit of printing out in doc format is the fact that as that once I open it I can change some things I can add something I might have forgotten before for example the name of the substation let's say that we can change now and call the substation Arlena we'll give line name 1m11 we'll say that the operator for example was Francesco, excuse me for this, and as we scroll down we see our results, which can be then submitted to your boss or the person who needs to sign them. With saving we are going to close this and we will show you some additional tests in some other examples. Thank you.